Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome to the channel news for November. Let's see, sept October, September, October, November, December. Yep, November. Uh, I didn't actually do the channel news for October. I guess I was so busy with the uh, the uh, Halloween Creepy Pasta Park on Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 that I didn't even uh, think to do it. Um, I, I guess I sort of missed it. Currently we have a few projects going on that I'm working on and it's actually going pretty well. I got the Creepapasta Park for Halloween project rolling. Um, someone actually said that they liked the um, Fate uh, playthroughs, that it was a good uh, throwback. And I did mention in an earlier like uh, newscast, like Russ Robo News, that if anyone actually enjoyed some of the earlier series that were discontinued, that they'd be brought back by popular demand. So I'm going to do a few more episodes on that and try to finish that out and actually, you know, complete the game and maybe look into the other three expansions that are actually released on Wild Tangent right now because they're exclusive to Wild Tangent. Um, then, of course, we've got a lot going on with uh, Undertale. That's pretty good going on. Uh, currently, as the airing of this, I think I'm right in front of the uh, second Spider Bake Sale, I believe it was. Like, um, that, that Spider Girl, right before, right before I got out of, uh, what was it? It wasn't a boss fight, it was Metaton's second encounter. Uh, second, uh, it was basically the MTT uh, news segment. Um, what else is going on? The middleweight tournament, uh, the Robot Arena 2 middleweight tournament is up. Uh, it's the preliminaries round one. Next week is going to be preliminaries round two, which will be the next four fights. Your tournament starts off with, of course, as you know, 16 competitors. Uh, actually, no, what was it? It was uh, four on one side, four on the other side. One, two, three, four. Uh, it was four on one side, four on the other side, eight, and eight, 16. But ba basically, um, that starts off next week. I'm going to have that, the middleweights, preliminaries, round two. Then, of course, it's going to go into the um, next part, which will be the semi-finals and then of course the finals and um, also there's Pokemon Insurgents currently there's only three I think three no four episodes of that out uh, was it three or four somewhere around there and I'm waiting until I get done with Undertale to really you know move further into Pokemon Insurgents because I want to do a little bit of um, which is actually what I'm doing with Fate right now is grinding to try to make sure that you know, I don't die in every episode, like, oh, the episode starts, and then I die, and then the episode starts, and then I die, because that was a big difficulty that I had with, um, with Shadowverse, was with a CG, uh, with a CCG or card game, you can't really predict a win. You know, you go up against your opponent, you never know whether or not you're going to have the right cards or use the right strategy, you never know whether or not you're going to win, so in order to continue the storyline, uh, I had to go through match after match after match, and that, that series is currently sort of on hold right now. Anything that's uh, older and not being moved forward is sort of on hold unless it's specifically requested by a fan. Uh, another series that's on hold would be, uh, what was it, oh, um, Heart and Slash, I really, I kind of missed that game, I liked it a lot. Unfortunately, I've gotten, fortunately and fortunately, I've gotten better with controlling the camera, like the face cam, actually putting it in the corner because now I know how to minimize it. I have a much better recording program, uh, Cyberlink Power Director, which I'm taking tutorials on how to use. Uh, it's much easier to put the camera in the, in the top right or top left, or as you've seen, uh, during texts, whenever another character is speaking and my face cam gets in the way, I can just split the face cam, split the face cam clip, and put it into another corner. That's always super convenient, so I love being able to do that. And honestly, now being used to that um, program for editing, I just wouldn't and couldn't really go back to anything else. Um, so Shadow versus kind of on hold. I thought of it because. I know that some people like to watch, um, uh, wh what do you call it, and there's a lot of them on Steam, oh, visual novel games, visual novels, and, 
even though this is a CG, uh, CCG, you know, like Magic the Gathering on the PC, you know, it's a card game, there's a lot of story element there, and a lot of character background arc that I figured, you know, people might like to watch that along with the card battles and sort of combine it together as an ink, uh, like an interactive visual novel. But, and then, and then I came up with the whole, you know, daily card unlock thing, so if you want to check that out, it's, it's still up on the channel, and, pro and I won't, I'm, I'm not going to delete it because it, it has the proper format. Um, the only thing I wanted to let you know that might actually get removed from the channel might unfortunately be, uh, <laughs> which is ironically my best performing series, was Besieger. Uh, I'll have to be replacing it with another uh, RTS. Um, hopefully uh, Warhammer the Dark Crusade. Uh, me and Skylar play that, and it's great. It's a totally fun RTS uh, based on the Warhammer series. And the reason for that, and there's good reason behind it, um, Windows 10 has some compatibility issues, as many know, with older games. If it's released on Steam, you're pretty much good to go. You know, it's supported. It's there. You got it. You're done. But unfortunately, with the older box games, which I'm talking Besieger, I got this from Best Buy back in like 2005 or something. Like, this thing was way back there. It's no longer supported by my operating system. I can't, I can't find or own, I can't find or to own a single computer that will run it. Um, so I didn't want people to get to a certain point in the series, look at it and say, oh, I want this back so bad, because I really kind of want to finish it. I hate leaving unfinished projects, but since I can't finish it, I don't know how. Uh, I'm going to leave it up for a little while if anybody knows of a way um, to actually mod it, or if there is a mod for it that will, you know, get it to run. On my old computer, my uh, Windows, I think it was, it was a Windows 10 as well, but it started out at Windows 8, and it was my Compact Presario. Uh, or no, no, that was the HP. The HP would run it, but after about 30 minutes of playtime, the game would start lagging slower and slower and slower. And it's because Windows XP, from what I've been researched up to on the web page, has a issue where they allocate a lot of RAM into a game, which apparently burned out your hard drive faster, but it made games run better. And nowadays, Windows apparently doesn't do that. The games run good anyway, even without allocating that amount of RAM because your computers have better processors, they have better visual cards or video cards, better sound cards, better graphic cards, everything is just all better. And, um, I mean, nowadays, you know, I, I got the uh, Gamer Paladin from I Buy Power. I'm probably gonna, you know, someday I'll show that in, in my setup if it's ever actually good enough to actually debut on, like, a video where I'm like, this is my setup. But right now, I don't think anybody would care about my setup because my videos are still crap. And I'm still crap. But I'm learning and I'm getting better. And I'm still having a lot of fun. So I'm going to continue to make videos pretty much every day, anytime I can. Uh, especially on the weekends. It's, it's difficult though with my full-time job. But, you know, it's a hobby and I really love it and I really enjoy it. So I'm hoping to get as much support as I can. And I appreciate it all the time along the way. I really do. Um, let's see, what else do I have going on? Obviously I'm going to... Uh, obviously, I'm going to continue with the Robot Arena Tournament. I'm going to try to get all the way into the heavyweights and then move on from there. And the thing that makes it special is, you know, I mean, obviously anybody can just, you know, run Robot Arena matches, Robot versus Robot. And that's, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. That's great. And a lot of people have done the whole tournament thing before as well. But what I wanted to do differently is instead of doing the pre-game tournament, I've actually kept track of the winners and losers myself on sheets of paper, on the computer, whatever I could do to actually keep track of the winners and losers and actually hold uh, a full-on tournament. And the thing is, I think about stuff like the new DBZ game coming out, uh, Robot Arena 2, Robot Arena 2 DSL mod, I wanted to do Robot Arena 3, but that's I'm just going to turn that into Russ Robo Plays Glitchy Bots 5000 because it's literally so glitchy, I think I can just make a comedy skit out of it. 
And if it works out, it works out. It's going to be great. Um, but I think... Oh, and Mugen. If you've never seen Mugen, look that up. That's pretty cool. It's basically a game where uh, developers, independent people, can make their own sprites and put them in a 2D fighter, kind of like Street Fighter or the old Mortal Kombat's, and they fight each other. And also Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion and Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. I wanted to do modes, like like a fight night sort of thing, where you set up a specific opponent against another specific opponent, you commentate on the match, and you set them up just like a boxing ring. You've got, you know, scores, you've got who wins, who loses, you've got a, a tournament roster like I've been drawing, keeping track with, um, and that's kind of what I'm into on, on YouTube in a big way. I love doing the RPGs, and I love doing the RTSs, but my real passion is, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, I want to get one of those uh, karaoke mics. I think it's called Pop Solo from uh, Walmart. And, you know, really hold it up and do the whole announcer thing, you know. He's coming in at 180 pounds of solid muscle. You know, that whole thing. You know, the, the boxing ring announcer sort of thing. You know, UFC announcer. I, I love doing that sort of thing. Um, I want to just basically... And I've also... I, I basically want to turn the channel sort of into an RTS, RPG, sort of tournament channel with lots of stuff like that. That's the kind of content that I want to bring to my viewers so that they have something entertaining to enjoy. Because what I've been reading about is that whenever you make videos, you need to provide something valuable to your audience. Like, for example, if it's funny, or if it's scary, or if it's um, uh, suspenseful, I, I used to say the term action-packed, but that's not actually the, the terminology. It's suspenseful. Uh, funny, scary, suspenseful, suspenseful, what was the last one? Ah, informative. So you try to provide something, and I'm trying to provide either... I think my strength's not necessarily informative, because I'm, you know, still learning. So I'm trying to focus on mainly either funny or uh, suspenseful. Because as far as frightening goes, I'm a coward. <laughs> I'm not so big into um, the horror genre like some of the other players are. And although I have found one that I particularly like, Aliens vs. Predators, that one's really fun. Um, but of course, it has to be, I believe, um, what's the terminology I'm looking for? Age restricted, unfortunately. Because there's a lot of blood, violence, cursing, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, stricter rules mean stricter enforcement. You know, stricter enforcement means you got to follow it better because they'll be on your butt if you don't. But I've been having a lot of fun staying within the rules and guidelines that YouTube has set for me and other creators. And I honestly think that as a creator, we can do great things. You know, I'm willing to play by the rules and upload content that everybody can enjoy. It's, it's, I mean... I don't want to blow it off like, oh, it's super easy. There's a bit of a challenge, especially when you talk about uploading daily and working a full-time job, because I, I, you know, I, I don't qualify to get paid for this yet. I haven't gotten a dime because I don't qualify. And that's a whole other story that I'm not really qualified to get into, uh, because it's their rules, their rights, and not mine. I'm just here to play the game and do it to the best of my abilities and learn as much as I can to entertain my viewers in the meantime. But that's everything going on with the channel probably for this month. Currently it's the 10th, so... Why did I check my non-existent watch? <laughs> uh, currently it's the 10th, so I probably should have gotten this up a little bit sooner. From now on with the monthly channel updates, I'd like to get them on maybe the 3rd or 4th, maybe? You know, a little bit earlier so that people know what's going to happen during that month. This is a little bit later in the month. But, you know, now you know what's going to happen in the month. A little bit of Fate, a little bit of, a, a little bit of Alien vs. Predator, uh, a lot of Undertale, going to try to finish that, uh, a lot of the Robot Arena 2 uh, tournament, and I want to do the DSL mod tournament, but I'm not ready yet, because I need to test out those bots, see how they interact with each other, and actually draw up the um, tournament roster. Because, you know, i got to make the brackets, put their names in, and all that. So now you know what all is going on for the month. And I hope you really enjoy it. Lots of good content coming out. Tell your friends. Tell your family. 
and I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to subscribe for updates on future content, leave your helpful comments in the comment section below if you like. Likes are always appreciated, and until next time, take it easy, my friends. I think I got everything. Did I get everything? Was that everything? I think that was everything. That's everything, definitely.